Introduction Video 2 Updated version of DeepXCAV 2011 In this introductional video we can see the improvements that have been applied in the updated version of DeepXCAV 2011 We have improved the Dialogues interface and especially we have improved the Wall Properties menu If we double click on the wall and press the Edit Section Data button here we can see the new improved dialog. In this dialog, first of all, we have to choose the general wall type from a list still given here. And let's say that we want to use a tangent pile wall. We click here, and here we can choose the specific wall type that we want to use. By pressing these buttons, we can see that the general dialog is updated, and here we can define the wall properties. In the updated version of DeepX Cav 2011, we have added an automatic thrust option mode. To see this, we can go to the Analysis tab here, and we can press the Thrust Options button. Then, the KPA and KP Main Options dialog appears, and here we can either choose the full automatic procedure, so the KA and KP are controlled automatically, or we can use the User Input procedure. Finally, in the updated version of TipEx Cav 2011, we have improved the Linked Design Sections option. With this option, user can link two or more design sections together, develop them together, and apply different design approach to each design section. To do so, first of all, user has to create a new design section. User has to press this button, and we can see that the new design section is added. Next, we press the Link Options button in the Analysis tab, and this dialog appears. Here we can choose to link the new Section 1 with the Base model, and we press OK. Thank you for watching this video. Visit our webpage in order to download a free trial version of our software program, and please feel free to contact us.